right so let's see the name of this video third times the channel i do everything i change phones i disconnect the ball behind me i try in every single thing y'all suggest i switch from the b mobile and the flow i am on digicel now after this if we ain't getting through i don't know what else to say to you but let's try and see if we can make it happen and um Shamala said yes I don't know if she's happy that I'm back or if it's working a little better um so yeah the original name of the video was supposed to be copyright copy wrong and I just saw Jillian Rooks show up and she'll be a perfect person to join me in that conversation the kind of nanniness we had to deal with with a stooge of a photographer but we let all that go we let all of that go everything in a gear and the gibson say all is well tell me the focus the audio everything good and eh? people are sending me a hundred You're sending me a hundred million message about President's house. This week, come in here. Anthony Knox say it good for now. I ain't sure what he mean, but we're working with that. Marlon Jagmohan said working better. Dawn Ali Lopez say looking great. I don't know if she's talking about me or the video, but we're going forward. Mark Pereira is back. I'm seeing the numbers climbing. John Brown says it's great now. So, um, some nights be mobile, some nights digital some nights flow and hi jeffrey logan rona jitter says everything is great adish balgo over the over the damian lumpfire how are you still getting jam see box man is back i want to see all my usual suspect darren hosford good evening nice meme um nice um emoji shamila all is good nice mark say a cooking anthony sinanan right the teams the teams showing up I must say, it is now 9.51. We're trying to do this since 9.04. Actually, we're trying to do this since 5 to 9, eh? But you all first saw me at 9.04. And Judith Crawford said, it's great now. Maya says it's working well. Maya girl, if you only know the drama, I still have to go through to get them frames. I have to still go back to our thread and click the link and go through the whole boomerang. So you need to fix me up properly and lock all those frames in with Facebook. Yeah, Terence Boudram is here. Good night, Sima. Seeing your pretty face, Claire. Oh, you're so sweet. Good evening, everybody. Picture perfect, right? So I don't want to get down with the back canal, play a song, what to do? I didn't know what to do right now, I'm confused. I knew what I wanted to say, and now I can't, I can't even remember. David Bruno Holt said it better for now. So that means the Canadians getting us. Diane Saldina is watching. Jamon Mike Michael Scott says everything is nice. I don't know if he's talking about the video or what's going on home by him. Naima, I reach back. Derek Lawrenson is in the house, and we are good to go. So let's rock and roll, people. Do you do we start with a song? Do we wake it back up? Where say? Tell me. Hmm? Wake it back up? A whole 50 minutes gone. All they're doing like all they are to go. Tomorrow is Sunday. Unless you work in KFC. But put up tomorrow. the start not happening tonight we have things to catch up with it is 9 53 so you know this one we're gonna have to run a little late and Philip like he bed <laughs> cut my foot I cut my foot today Although I am the most klutzy person sometimes and Damien say we gain it 200% Damien finally Start with a song. Somebody just say start with a song. Okay, the next five comments tell me. Do you want the song or are we going straight in? I want to know. Marlon say he waking and he ready. 
Yeah, my foot bleeding, but we will wait on the oh, get them rid of Francis, get them rid of Yeah, yeah, but we don't want to just get them rid of This is not a Friday night line, man. Eh? This, this, yeah, my boy now, the last bad John of Calypso. <laughs> Mr. Vibes Cartel, you reach. Good evening. We're going straight inside. Listen, there are a couple things we had to talk about, and one of them is this. We did a news piece, a hard-hitting piece of investigative journalism, investigation into the abuse and the corruption in President's House at $89 million. We exposed to the public that there's no way you can cross 15 million. Worst case scenario, 20. How they arrive at 89? And one stooge, one joker, whose, whose picture was on social media, on Google as a search engine, without a watermark, without a link to him. Apparently the president, the, the president's house committee paid for the picture and it's a picture of president's house. Our copyright laws is bullshit because the house owns the copyright and we own the house. And then if we paid you for that picture as the state, again, that's our picture. But anyway, but anyway, there are a lot of stooges outside there who are willing to cut people throat just so that they could eat food and I want to tell you brother listen eh? my memory long you know people just tell you when you do good for Philip Alexander you you I never stop repaying ever Mali Rose just call me local Trump Mali did you say that in a good way or a bad way some people love Trump some people hate Trump if you come into troll Mali let me tell you pump your brakes real quick because people just get blocked mid sentence so let me go forward right how much he get for the picture too Adish are going to find out that the man I was not going to say this before Mali come and tell me as a local Trump I want the gentleman to know in a game of cards, it had one hand to play, you know. He play his hand. Our video is down. Still have a YouTube video, we pulling that down too. We have photographers all over this country calling facts. They spitting mad. Who's this jackass? Where he learn the rules? But you know what? All unfair games have to play over. Time longer than twine, long rope for maga, maga goat. What is joke for schoolboy is death for crapo. All of them who think that their play is the only play. Your gallery, your gallery, you pull down your pants, you shake your ass in people's face. Your gallery that we accidentally, inadvertently stumbled upon and chose your picture. It got, the video was crossing 30,000 views in 24 hours. You, we could have in, added in the video photography by so-and-so and you could have get some good exposure. But instead, you chose to be a stooge, a dick, a nanny. And that's all right. This was our preview. This is not even the actual video. This was a preview. This was a shot across the bow. This is to tell them that the Progressive Empowerment Party is going to demonstrate to all and sundry that you don't need political power to influence politics in this country. So come Monday, bright and early, you decot no Kendall Baggy. We ain't calling his dirty name. Why think I will do that? To give him more notoriety, more fame. People go and look for him. Let him stay in his dark, dank, and diluted gene pool. Because watch me. Photography. I love it. I love it. And there are some very good photographers out there. But they will tell you the industry is dying. When disposable cameras came out, it was a death blow. When digital cameras came out, it was a death knell. When, when cell phones, and now with the new phones that have better than SLR quality night vision camera, come on, you can't compete. Nobody, but ask, ask Butch Lim Choi and them who used to take picture whole carnival. They've been doing that again. They used to print carnival magazine with picture. The whole of social media is picture. You could get everything you need to see and more. 
Photography is going to go the way of the dinosaur. People don't sit and have their portrait painted anymore to remember. Now they do it for bling. But the original reason for sitting to have your portrait painted was that was the photography then. And then cameras, the original camera obscura, was invented. And that slowly became Eastman Kodak. They slowly developed and became but look now, no, Kendall, the iPhone 11 doing thing what, what motion picture camera can do. One of the top model photographers told the world he used to use disposable cameras. And, and I am not trying to diss the art. Do your photography. Jillian Rooks, who is on this thread tonight, if you, if you want to see a photographer par excellence, she and her sister, both fantastic photographers but Jillian takes pictures that I have gasped at some of the pictures because she takes wildlife photography and that is an art you you mr. gentleman you took a picture of a building no problem I can set up a camera shooting automatic constant saving to a hard drive wrong the clock for a week and then run through and find the best one and I bet you it better than yours and I could filter it and I could pop it and I could photoshop it my friend Laura Ferreira could put aliens landing inside it um, taking Paula May weeks for a ride there is nothing more that can be done but in 2003 Laura Ferreira took a picture of me and made me look like Neo from the Matrix there's nothing new under the sun and if you don't have actual talent you get to be a Philip is 2020. Behave yourself. Behave yourself. No problem. No problem. The talks. You know what I get? It get five minutes. I, I wanted to name my response because I put out a response today and I'll read it here. And I and, and I was vexed. So I was going to call my response 15 minutes of fame. Here's your, no, I was going to say, here's your 15 minutes. But I'm trying to be a grown-up. People want me to be Philip B. Elmo parliamentary, no man. They want to vote for you. They just want to see that you're capable of being parliamentary. Okay, no problem. But this was what I wrote this morning, hopefully, because my good friend Richard Blaze, who opens the church and puts the communion on the altar for God, Jesus, and everybody, is the first one that messaged me with his head shake. Richard head shakes me every time somebody that he knows gets their panties in a twist over something. We are in a political shitstorm. We are in a dog fight. We are the Marquis and the Queensberry rules are not going to apply. They are going to come times when we're going to mash each other's toe. And emotional intelligence says, you know what? Hey, don't study it, my man. Don't study it. The greatest fools is the one who's get in fight in fact because somebody mashed the shoe. We in a fact. We in a fight. We in a brawl. We are about to take on drug trafficking empires we are taking on a contract mafia that has been feeding for billions and this stunting in response to copyright claims to the persons claiming copyright of an image used in our public service news feature on the abuse of office and blatant corruption in the renovation of president's house lighten up the image was found on a public search engine among many others without watermark or any ties to any personal organization whatsoever with nowhere to find or ascertain copyright every single member of our team has a camera in their hands all day every day and while we agree the image is a pretty one its use itself is not more important than the content of the actual video and maybe just maybe we might want to set our set aside our selfishness and posturing and agree to help rescue the country by whatever contribution we could all on the use of the actual picture. As of this writing, we still do not know who owns the copyright for the image, whether it be the property owner of the property used in the image, the person who paid for the picture to be taken, or otherwise. Its use was inadvertent. It was unintentional. It was used in the public interest for the public good. An image of publicly owned property we believe to have been commissioned with public funds, vesting any issue of copyright in the state and the people by extension. If not, if our use of the image has caused you any distress, we apologize. 
This little storm in a teacup has taught us one important thing that we must go further in our efforts and close all ends of the loop in our media. Our head of PEP Media is himself a capable photographer and all our team members walk around with cameras in their hands. From today going forward, we will avoid like the plague use of any image we did not take ourselves or that is not vested in, our, in us by the photo taker outer. Rest assured. Now I want him to hear me say this. Long after his shit stain of a name is a footnote in a forgotten history known to him and his five followers. Because, because we have people like that eh, in Trinidad and Tobago who are looking for a Jesus and a Messiah. They're running to find any jackass that have something that they think that they could follow and load up. I try to get everybody and I tell people, me, I don't want no cult of personality. Don't love me for anything other than the work that I do. Respect me for my effort and possibly my knowledge. We did not set out. We still don't know who this joker is. And instead of reaching out to us, because Richard Blaze was trying, was trying to see, because, because Mr. Jackass jumped out himself pelting blows like a street fighter. No problem. You jump out yourself, pelting blows, or we will send you an invoice. Why don't you kiss my half red ass? You know you can't do that. You know it can't stand up nowhere. You know we didn't use it for commercial purposes. It was unavoidable. It was inadvertent. You didn't have to be an ass, but you were. You made a spoiled child of yourself. And I promise you this. I promise you, time longer than time. You must make sure the toes you're stepping on today not connected to the ass you have to kiss tomorrow. You should be guided. I have learned that. You should be guided. We did not use your image to self-promote, to stunt. We used it for the public good as a backdrop on a serious investigation into abuse of public funds by the government. And instead of you willing to work together in the best interest of everybody, you threw your hissy fit and like a little girl went and complained, video is down. Part one, as of tonight, we sent professional photographers of our own to President's house. As of tonight, when our part two, which will open with the reading of the Freedom of Information request served on Udicott for the details of all invoices in President's house, you'd be forgotten. And our beautiful backdrop will still be President's house. My friend, you've taken on more than you should have. For reasons you alone know. And while you may be trying to ingratiate yourself with a dying dustbin cult, the PNM, know for certain that that failed and retrograde organization whose demise is absolutely certain, the next election that the PNM loses will be the complete annihilation, the steel beams that they're putting up on that property in Balize House will serve another purpose, will serve another master. Trinidad and Tobago has to unite itself and rid itself, exorcise itself, the cancer that is the people's national movement. Nothing has destroyed a nation as completely as that failed and corrupt organization, the People's National Movement. And going forward, 2020, our first live video made all of those who follow us throw in the towel. Because we started the game and they started the game and we do our live videos and they do their live videos and we play Calypso, they play in Calypso. And then we started doing three minute topical videos, hitting and hammering home and a couple politicians jump in and start to follow that. And what we came out with, January 3rd, 2020, that show 
that is a preview to the real show. We built our own studio, friend. When the media blocked us, we created media. When we counted our views at the end of the first four videos, we interviewed the same people they interviewed, but we did it better. And at the end of our first four videos, we crossed a million views. That is more than all the other media and talkers combined. This is not me beating my chest. We work damn hard for this. Somebody said today in Pep's meeting, we work harder than everybody else combined. The, the reality of our situation as a nation is that no one person now could take credit for the rescue. We have to do this all hands on deck. We have to protect the women and the children and the elderly and the weak and the infirm. We have to work together and madness that has destroyed this nation and the Progressive Empowerment Party may be leading the charge, but we cut in road for all those who are interested in serving. I said that on 104.7 on an interview, a clip of which went ridiculously viral. And one week later, Vasant Bharat said the same thing, that he will work with anybody. No problem. 19 Stanmore Avenue is our headquarters. Today, we had to open the doors because our leadership team, all we called out today was our leadership team. And there were more people than place or chairs. We are growing forward. We are committed to this course of action. And anybody, and I mean anybody, who put God out of their thoughts to stand in the way of this holy and ordained mission to rescue this country, we will run through you, around you, over you. We are going forward. It will take all of us to put aside ego and selfishness and greed and other things like fear and shame. Stand up. Stand up. Don't wait for loss to be your cause. Don't wait to react to when calamity befalls you. Don't wait for death to visit your home and poverty to come sniffing around your, 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 your equity. Start now. See. See. Look forward with, with real eyes and, and see where this country really headed. You have to be a damn fool. You have to be a damn fool to accept $89 million to renovate an existing structure. You have to be a damn ass. And for those in office who think that we accepted that, we will not stop until you are f prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law, regardless of what that bald jackass in office thinks. We are coming to stand up for our country, the constitution that is holding him in office, that gives him blue lights to run through traffic light, is built on the will of we, the people of Trinidad and Tobago, and we want a better nation. This is not a feeding trough for the 1% friends of the PNM. This is not that. The UNC is irrelevant. I do not need to call their name. I am not getting in between them and all the issues, all the bacchanal, all the feces flinging between those two bands of chimpanzees. We are not getting in that. We make no distinction. The Progressive Empowerment Party is here to rescue Trinidad and Tobago. And that remains the mission. Today, in that packed room, we... We have a staircase that over the three years, we have a staircase that over the three years, we will take our pictures. This morning, the staircase couldn't hold the leadership team. To those who have come and gone, I have to tell you, tried to pass themselves off as the Progressive Empowerment Party. What do you have to show for it today? Other than making an unnecessary obstacle of yourself. Anybody who is not rowing in the same direction for this rescue, 
rowing against Trinidad and Tobago. Anybody who supported PNM tonight support 541 murders. Support the 10,000 people dead in the last decade to violent crime when we know they know how to secure the borders. But they stunt and posture for an undereducated follower who they have deliberately left in the dark ages. They did that to them. They dumbed them down. They almost dehumanized them. They have them ridiculous so they can run ad in the papers saying we'll give you $6,000 to buy a fridge and stove. Come with your PNM party card. All of that is misbehavior in public office. And the same way, Centipi and Scorpion wait to come and bite Marlene in she ass. She drop weight fast. All she friends and them, baddest, baddest, baddest. Trinidad and Tobago, they say, the old people have a saying, night does run till day catch it. We have to be the coming of that day. We need to be the better day that Trinidad and Tobago has been trying to have since September 1st, 1962. The Progressive Empowerment Party has a job. I said today, we are the promise of a better day for Trinidad and Tobago. We are the hope of a nation, and I don't take that lightly. That's why I started off the first two videos that got us to hear, saying, I used to think, I used to take these videos, and I used to take my contribution in these videos. I, I, I am my harshest critic. I am my harshest critic, and if it's not almost perfect, I, I, I don't like it, and I, I some, some keep me up at night. I say, yes, they say, this takes a lot, but to hear people say what this video does for them, what it means to them, what these live videos do for them, I no longer claim them. This is yours. I will do everything that I can do, everything that is within my human power to bring, I don't want to say a message, but to bring the right topical issues to the fore and give us the opportunity to feel that strength we've been searching for. Trinidad and Tobago, I promise you, we are, today is the 4th of January. Today is the 4th of January. We will count every day going forward to an election. We will count them in work done. We will count each day, each hour in a contribution, a commitment. We started a meeting today and I said my first words, this is it. All the work, all of the work, every word, millions of words written, thousands of video hours, all of it is for this year. 2020. Gloves off. Whereas the people of Trinidad and Tobago have affirmed that the nation of Trinidad and Tobago is founded upon principles that acknowledge the supremacy of God, faith in fundamental human rights and freedoms, the position of the family in a society of free men and free institutions, the dignity of the human person and the equal and inalienable rights with which all members of the human family are endowed by their creator. creator. Whereas the people of Trinidad and Tobago respect the principles of social justice and therefore believe that the operation of the economic system, should the economy, should result in the material resources of the community being so distributed as to subserve the common good, that there should be adequate means of livelihood for all that labor should not be exploited or forced by economic necessity to operate in inhumane conditions, but that there should be opportunity for advancement on the basis of recognition of merit, ability, and integrity. 
Just that paragraph, the entire government and the state apparatus are in breach of the Constitution. Whereas the people of Trent and Tobago have asserted their belief in a democratic society in which all persons may, to the extent of their capacity, play some part in the institutions of the national life and thus develop and maintain due respect for lawful lawfully constituted authority, whereas the people of Trinidad and Tobago recognize that men and institutions remain free only when freedom is founded upon respect for moral and spiritual values and the rule of law. Whereas the people of Trinidad and Tobago desire that their constitution should enshrine the above mentioned principles and beliefs and make provisions for ensuring the protection in Trinidad and Tobago of fundamental human rights and freedom. Now, therefore, the following provisions shall have effect as the Constitution of the Republic of Trinidad and Tobago. I have said from the very start, the first part of the Inform, Educate and Empower, the first part of the wake up call to Trinidad and Tobago is that the Constitution of the Republic of Trinidad and Tobago is founded on the people. Before any president, before any prime minister, before any police or priest or pundit, the people of Trinidad and Tobago, whereas the people of Trinidad and Tobago and the constitution of the Republic of Trinidad and Tobago is the document to which we will return. We've said undo and redo. We're going as far back as 1962 to fix all of the messes that Eric Williams and the band of jackasses we've had as leaders have committed atrociously on the people of this country. It is time.
Angela, Adelon, Brave Boy, they rub your partner. That song? Come now, man. Come now, man. Trinidad and Tobago. I just post a picture. Out and bad. Out and bad. We take a picture, a photo shoot today. They had more pep than step. Go and check it. That, the, People couldn't fit in the picture. Out and bad. Tell them. Progressive Empowerment Party. The Progressive Empowerment Party. A purpose-built organization built by everyday Trinbagonians to make a better country. Today, in that meeting, people gave me goosebumps just by their commitment and their contribution for this country. This is how it was always supposed to be. A better TNT for everybody. There are three main organizations in the Progressive Empowerment Party. Besides the Executive and the National Council, there are three organizations that operate the Progressive Empowerment Party. We call them Media, money, and mobilization. Media is all our communication, and you and you have to admit, it, it would be cruel to try to pretend that the Progressive Empowerment Party is not the strongest media giant with no money. Under an actual media blackout, we dictate the national conversation, we set the narrative, and we are the undisputed kings and queens of social media. This party, the Progressive Empowerment Party, all our communications is at the highest level. Everything that the others do, they follow us one week later. Media, money, mobilization. Our mobilization team is becoming a giant killer. Our mobilization team is responsible for all our membership and all of our constituencies. We've broken Trinidad and Tobago down into North, East, Central, South, Tobago. We've created regional hubs and regional leaders for North, East, Central, South, and Tobago. And those people have responsibility under the entire mobilization party organization team to set up caretakers in each and every constituency to work the ground with you, to identify your problems so that government, should the Progressive Empowerment Party come to government, we would have a working list of what needs urgent attention, 
That's the purpose of government. Money, finance, that is that has all our fundraising and all of our accounting and everything to do with the finances of the party. It is chaired by the chairman of the Progressive Empowerment Party, Felicia Holder. If you want to assist on any of these massive teams, because that's who met today, these teams, the communications arm, the mobilization team and finance. That's who met as the leadership of the Progressive Empowerment Party today. And everyone who was present committed themselves strenuously to achieving the goals set out by this organization. Our founders were there. Everybody had a chance to speak. It was refreshing to hear that group. And I said, we may never have the entirety of this group present again in one meeting before the presentation of candidates mass public meeting that we will have six weeks before a general election. It is pretty much planned. We know what we're having. We know where we're having it. We have all of the items required to have it pretty much pre-booked. The Progressive Empowerment Party, this organization, we went up against Guardian, Sabga News Network and One Caribbean Media on on budget day and on budget day there were three live videos cnc3 tv6 and the progressive empowerment party and while they were struggling to get beyond 150 and 200 viewers we had reached 1900 viewers we were the 800 pound gorilla in the room that night and they had all of the former economists and all the former ministers and current ministers of finance. And we had well-meaning, civic-minded patriots of Trey and Tobago talking policy. Suchan Buchun says, I haven't seen Janice for a while. If you were at Stanmore Avenue today, you would have seen her and you'll be seeing more of her as she and Anthony, the food deputy political leader, are sharing the role of PRO to make sure that we get more and massive mileage every single place before we go. Jamon Michael Scott asked six weeks before general election, yes, it is my job to keep our cards close to our chest and protect our members from political victimization from these demons in public office. So no, they're not going to be strewn like, like pearls before swine. But the country, we will build this massive, organization and demonstrate its capacity through policy and management through issues we are about to champion we're about to take trinidad and tobago into a new world we said it today we were like taking apart over the last three years all of the bullshit we were playing a game of jenga every time they talk we expose it everything they try to do we show them up now they are falling apart and dying in in a vat of their own lives, both sides, the UNC can't get themselves out of their way, they can't talk, they don't know what to say. The PNN collapsing in front of you. Do not take chain up from those who eaten a food, who ate a food, who looking forward to eat again in the future. Do not take bullshit from people who come in to tell you, boy, we, we know what we have, we know what we will get. Let me tell you what you know that you have. You have a nation that has failed. Thousands of our people have died violent deaths, murder in a country where hundreds of our women have gone missing, trafficked to God alone knows where, tens of thousands of illegal firearms, people making videos with impunity, threatening each other and threatening the stability of the nation. That's what you have. What you have is an entire nation that have no water. We have 500,000 water tank in Trinidad and Tobago. We have a TN Tech bill inflated 25% by water pumps. We can't catch water. Water drumming we, except in the reservoir. That's what you have. You have a healthcare system when finally a doctor say, people People paralyzing, becoming brain dead and dying because of public health. When I spoke about it, they want to take me in the court. Thank you, Dr. Meyer. And now other doctors are speaking out and it will fall apart. It will collapse like a house of cards. But you're saying you don't know what you, what you will get, but you know what you have. That's what you have. When your mommy or your daddy or your children or your loved ones have to go casualty and pull a number and hope that they see a doctor and survive. Public health, that is what you have now. An education system so obscene. The Ministry of Education job seems to be to, to 
provide pilfering opportunities for the 1%. 77 million dollars to renovate three schools. 77 million dollars. 77 million dollars could build 10 schools from scratch. 89 million dollars spent building Scarborough School. What did you build? What did you build? Are you doing rocket science? Are you, are you sending them to the moon? $89 million? That could have built 10 schools. The Ministry of Education is facilitating wholesale theft. And that is what you have. What you have is a bunch of stunting jackasses in government. We've not secured the borders. We've never secured the borders. Despite knowing worldwide that Trinidad Tobago is a narcotics pipeline. Why hasn't any version of the PNM or the UNC taken any action whatsoever besides come to lie to you and talk bullshit about OPVs and UPVs? Forget that nonsense. What we needed was a proper maritime security apparatus connected by the 360 degree radar and linked by sonar boys. Nothing in, nothing out. We must know and we must be able to investigate fast attack helicopters and interceptor boats. Our interceptor boats drowning in Chagaramas. Our fast attack helicopters helicopters are grounded our pilots we've just refused to renew the contracts of our highly trained and expensively trained 30 pilots you don't know what you'll get you know what you have that is what you have Trinidad has no air cover and call me and Stuart Young are lying to you and if one of your family members God forbid go missing on a beach run to Maracas or Blanchichez or Toko or Mayaro they have no helicopter to come and look for them that is what you have a price of food 15 times higher than it should be while our agriculture fields grow in razor grass and being shared among friends and governments to open strip malls and cineplexes and gas stations you don't know what you're gonna get but you know what you have what you have is a corrupt incompetent system of government and you have that because you facilitated that by your vote that is what upholds this insane system your vote you don't know what you have you don't know what you will get but you know what you have what you have is not one smooth road in Trinidad and Tobago not one properly paved road in Trinidad and Tobago what you have is no body accounting for what's being done with our pitch that we're shipping out by the millions of tons what you have a government that just stole the country's economic engine petrotrin and carved it up between its friends you don't know what you're gonna get but you know what you have what you have is a nation dying gasping gasping for air failing a banana republic in 2020 people still shitting in latrines and no rowley didn't dig the latrine rowley job was supposed to fill them in you have a country that is failing a banana republic narco state cesspool shithole people are es people not leaving Trinidad and tobago people are escaping Trinidad and tobago and they're doing it in silence and they're doing it quiet so nobody will block them they ain't telling their friends. They ain't telling their family. Next time you think they're on vacation. Next time you see them three months later, they post it. Could they get through with the documentation and they could burn their passport and they could say free at last. Free at last. Thank God Almighty. We're free from the madness. And our country should never have been one that our people had to escape from. Two million. Trinbegonians live outside of Trinidad and Tobago. People who have escaped the madness of PNM UNC, UNC PNM foolishness. Five year chunks of time lost to incompetence and corruption, while the 1%, the contract mafia, and the financial elite make off with this country's best assets. You have one last chance. We are no longer talking this in terms of if but when rwanda rwanda is the world's next singapore rwanda shot to notoriety with the hutus and the tutsis and the massacres look at where rwanda reached haiti is cleaning up its act guyana has zoomed past us jamaica is now a bright light in the caribbean grenada dominica shook off decimation from hurricanes and rebuilt themselves to be shining jewels St. Kitts, Nevis, come on Barbados 
Barbados is a world brand. Trinidad and Tobago is a shithole. Tell yourself the truth. Stop lying to yourself. People speak from about Barbados with pride. People speak about Ch Jamaica with pride. Guyana is going to become a global powerhouse and Trinidad is a rotten cesspool. And you have a jackass for a prime minister. You don't know what you're going to get, but you know what you have. At least face it. Look it in its eyes. You can't fix it until you recognize and name it. They are demons operating this country from in front of your eyes and behind the scenes and it is time you took responsibility as the constitution of the republic of trinidad and tobago says whereas we the people of trinidad and tobago decide that 2020 will be the last year this dark shadow of incompetence and corruption and nepotism and looting and pilfering and failed nation be our truth it is time to rewrite our legacy. It is time to change our future. It is time we, the people of Trinidad and Tobago, stood together, one people under one flag, and made this country the country it was supposed to be. to find a way to smuggle your children and your mother out of this country. I want you to understand what could also be our future if they do not fix this nation. We appointed the most capable man in this country as commissioner of police. He drove himself to sickness and we still registered 541 murders that we are aware of. It could be more. We don't know. Nine short of our worst record. We are in a dark and dangerous place. We, the people of Trinidad and Tobago, are all that stands between us and certain destruction. And unless we take responsibility for our country, we will have only ourselves to blame. If it is that who you voting, pay me on the top. When you're voting, vote them out. Vote them out. If it is the proven to be your sinful amount. When you're voting, vote them out. Vote them out. If it is the time is now, that change should come about. Just as so you vote them in. Vote them out. Register and vote. If they don't see 
could put out a release telling the public due to the challenges with foreign exchange, they are capping your credit card. They are tightening the screws. They are closing you in. It is only a matter of time. No matter what you have in this country, if you sell it for a billion dollars, if you can't get US dollars to buy, how are you getting it out of Trent Tobago? And to the people who think if you can't get US, you can buy pounds, or you can buy Canadian, or you can buy German marks. You can't buy none of that. The only thing that we have in Trent Tobago is US dollars. When the banks end up with anything else, they end up with that because somebody come back from some trip and sell it. There is only US. And if we cannot get US dollars to buy now, what's going to happen if you put God out your thoughts and put these failures back to fail for another five years? If they are the reason why
this song back. We make this song popular. UNC come and try to borrow this song and thief this song for the elections. And Tyrone and Anders tell them, I gave that to the Progressive Empowerment Party. Ah, Lord, boy. Where we going, Trinidad and Tobago? Where we going? I want to also guarantee you this. I commit myself to consider all slights, all disrespects in the past. I am not carrying load. My mission is not to tote nonsense. People have done me wrong and I accept that wrong was done, but the mission is bigger than even me. I will work with everybody that brings anything to the table that could make this a better country. If you want that, help build us critical mass. Give the people the, the knowledge that their progressive empowerment party is growing in leaps and bounds. Look at our leadership. I am sharing it right now on my page. Look at what the PEP leadership alone is. It's grown beyond our capacity to hold. Somebody said to the boss, we need a bigger office. That made me feel and that didn't even have, I seen Chalana Birchwood, that didn't even have our foreign base members. That's just those of us here who work in here. But we have a massive team outside too. The Canada team and the New York team and the Florida team. We even have people building in the UK trying to put that together. We have some European team. We have people sending us support and stuff from Italy and Australia. God bless Australia with some rain. Tonight, I am saying... Father in heaven, drown Australia with some rain. Drown them with rain. They needed the animals can't take this. My son sent me some information tonight, and this is the truth. That children who are of age today may not may not see grandchildren if we don't fix this economy. Where is the plastic bottle bill? Where is the plastic bottle bill to protect our environment? We are led by charlatans, peons masquerading as government. They know nothing. They are incapable and clueless. All of these issues. The Progressive Empowerment Party is the only organization that is coming to government with a bill of rights, an animal bill of rights, an environmental bill of rights, and a citizen bill of rights. Those three bills of rights will be enshrined as amendments to the constitution, never to be amended again. We will protect our people, our animals, and our environment. We need government to understand its role and responsibility, the service of all the people, the well-being of all the people is the function, purpose, and reason for government. Without the people, there is no reason for government. Government's job is to serve all the people. Government's job is not to build massive gates to lock the homeless in down in a car park by Riverside Plaza. The government's job is to go down there and identify who is mentally ill and put them in an institution that could get them the treatment that they need. Who are drug and alcohol addicts get them into rehabilitation see who you could rescue who have just fallen through the cracks of society who have broken lives who deserve a second chance government's responsibility is to give them a hand up and help them back into the family of Trinidad and Tobago. All of that is government's responsibility. Government's responsibility is the drainage. Government's responsibility is the flooding. Government responsibility is the guns, the gunmen, the bullets. Government's responsibility is what happens in this country, daytime and nighttime. Government sets the tone, the tenor and the timber through legislation and finance. We determine what Trinidad and Tobago is. And if we are to judge the sound emanating from cabinet, government, and parliament, they are out of tune, out of time. And it is time we, the people of Trinidad and Tobago, brought this mad cacophony to an end. We need to stand together black, white, red, green, and every shade of us in between. Regardless of who you're praying to and who you're lying down with in the night. None of that. Somebody said to me today, why are people paying attention to the pastor money and they're not paying attention to their own money? All they're spending so much time on the pastor, the 29 million, the law will deal with that. But what about all of them that thief in all of your money? 
Five billion dollars in public health for people to go on dead. Five billion dollars in education for, for 90% of our children to fail. Five billion, nine billion dollars in national security for women to go missing and 541, mil, 541 people to be murdered. That is where your mind should be. That is where your attention should be. Where's our money? 20 years, the THA has not counted for $50 billion. Where's that money? We need all of this answered. We need that. That's where your mind should be. Not the pastor. AV oil, that's your concern. Petrotrin, how did the stunting dwell of a finance minister change the terms of the winning bid if you're giving it to Patriotic because Patriotic said they pay in Trinidad and Tobago $700 million US dollars up front. Collect the money. You can't waive that. That was a term and a condition of the bid. You've just violated the sanctity of the bid process. Trinidad and Tobago, the country you want, you can have. It is simple. It is easy. 184 countries outside their work. Success leaves clues. Pick and choose. Find a nation. Finland for education. Singapore for shipping. Dubai for oil, gas, environment. Pick the country you want. Pick it and say, look, I want a social fabric like Sweden. I want Switzerland, how they manage their economy. I want Finland's education system. I want Holland's water management. You could look anywhere in the world. Canada. Canada have the highest standard of living in the world, they're drowning in snow. You can imagine if we copied all the good things about Canada in this beautiful and blessed paradise, basking under coconut leaves on some of the best beaches in the world and have the highest standard of living in the world. We can have all of that and more, more. Singapore is half the size of China Tobago and their economy just eclipsed the United States of America as the most competitive economy in the world. And they don't have oil, and they don't have gas, and they don't have pitch, and they don't have a Tobago. They don't have Pollock avocado that can earn us 1.5 billion US dollars a year. They don't have Julie Mango that can take that whole market away from Jamaica. They don't have the second hottest pepper in the world, the number one honey on the planet, and the best Trinitario cocoa the world, the universe has ever seen. Come on, we have the largest brain call, we have the nylon pool, we have Tobago. Pigeon Point is an iconic gem. That Pigeon Point jetty has become the image of tropical paradise for the whole travel industry. We own it and we don't use it. Where we going, boy? What did do we? What did do all your fault? Let us still be walking around talking great as these mother-ass jackasses. Come on, a man. Shake them demons off your back, a man. Want better for yourself. Christ, want better for your children if you don't care about yourself. Look around. We can't take much more of this. We need to be a better nation. Starting now, 2020, we are on an election footing. The Progressive Empowerment Party declares for everyone to hear the mission is to rescue Trinidad and Tobago. What happens next is up to the people of Trinidad and Tobago, but it won't be for a lack of trying. You can't say you don't know or you didn't have an option. Until tomorrow, stay safe, Trinidad and Tobago.